So that is the first of nine synthesis engines within Kronos. The second is in front of you. EP1, this is our electric piano engine. Using MDS synthesis, we get to recreate vintage time and reed-based electric pianos. We do so with stunning authenticity. So I get to choose from six different models, Mark I, Mark II, Mark V, the popular Dynamon, along with two different flavors of Whirly. Now, as we go along, we can actually, uh, would you like to give us a little sample of uh, an electric piano? has friends that live in the real-time control knobs, the XY joystick, the ribbon, the assignable switches, and our exclusive vector joystick. And you can hear Jack taking advantage of these things now. Now you might notice this says Herbie's Butterfly EP. And uh, there are some other famous names in there as well. We didn't do this alone. To create Kronos, Korg asked for a little help from our friends. So all of these artists here contributed to the voicing within Kronos. And when you see their name on it, it means it's a sound that we designed with them to their exact specifications. Frank McComb, George Duke. Here's a little example of George Duke's electric piano. is the drum track function. When you push drum track, you have instant access to almost 700 different grooves, many of which were played by Ricky Lawson. So the voicing extends beyond the keyboard sounds and into these wonderful drum libraries that we also play with. This is using MDS synthesis, multi-dimensional synthesis. Using this, we can assemble different aspects of the sound, pitched content, harmonic content, mechanical noises through time in such a way that we transcend the boundaries of velocity switching and the unnatural behavior of samples. So that is the EP1 electric piano modeling engine. Next, CX3. We have brought back our incredibly popular organ tone, tone wheel organ modeling. So now, just by using the sliders to the left of that beautiful eight inch touch view display, we have access to the entire tone palette of an electric organ. Jack reaching over to uh, flip up our joystick here. Our XY joystick gives us access to the rotary speaker. So our popular rotary speaker emulation gives you control over how fast the fast setting is, how slow the slow setting is, acceleration, deceleration. You can even decide where the microphones are positioned and where the cones are in the rotary speaker when they stop spinning. Obsessive, maybe. That's kind of how we roll. <laughs> now, you may have noticed how I'm selecting sounds. This is our all new set list mode. Set list is the grand unification of all performance modes, program, combi, and sequence. A single set list can contain programs, combis, and sequences in each of these 16 slots, 127 slots total. 
So I have instant access to my sound. It's high contrast, easy to see, and you can have 128 set lists at once. So if you need more than 16,000 slots, you're playing the most complicated gig I've ever heard of in my life. <laughs> and here's another wonderful trick that we've got for you. Listen to what happens when I switch from one sound to another. seamlessly switch from one to the next. This is our new smooth sound transitions function. You can switch from a program to a combi, a program to a program, a combi to a combi, a combi to a sequence with no note dropout, and the effects don't change either. And we do this without limiting the number of effects that you can use or the number of timbres that you can play at once. Again, we're changing the game. Now, also, right on the bottom there, you've got access to a nine band graphic EQ, which you can instantly change using these nine sliders. So for each set list, you can actually decide on an EQ curve to suit the venue in which you're playing. So whatever studio, whatever live venue you're at, Kronos is ready to play. Now moving along, the synthesis tour continues. There was a time when people actually bought synthesizers to program them themselves, believe it or not. It had to be easy, it had to be fun, it had to be hands-on, and Kronos delivers this to you in spades. We give you three analog modeling engines to choose from. The first is a recreation of our legendary MS-20 monosynth. Only it's not monophonic anymore, now it's more like having 48 of them at once, kind of like our legendary PS-3300. Would you like to demonstrate a uh, wonderful MS-20 EX sound? Each control has been thoughtfully mapped to a slider or a knob, and you can see that you have access to the different parts of the control panel. And uh, this patch panel is every bit as fun as it looks. And you can even connect multiple things to a single patch. Sounds like I'm being chased by an evil Pac-Man. So, in addition to the MS-20, we also look back towards the Poly 6 with great reverence. This is the new Poly 6, the Poly 6 EX analog modeling engine. And you can see here we've got the control panel from the Poly 6 the same way we do with the MS-20. So just touch to enlarge, and again, all the controls are mapped to different knobs. <laughs> the warmth and the lush characteristics that the original Poly 6 was known for. And, as an aside, did you know that each one of these programs can contain two different synthesis engines at the same time?